Now, guys, you already know I come with a banger, but I come with a disturbing one at that this time. Now, I'm going to let you guys see the video, and you're going to tell me who is Mr. Keys talking about. Now, being an actress, a singer, in the entertainment field, you want to encounter a lot of things. People are going to say a lot of things. But once you get deep into the industry, that means when you're signed and you're making some money, money, you're going to meet some people that sit there and say they men and women of God that are not men and, men, men and women of God. They're predators. They're here to touch the forbidden fruit between your legs or your upper body too. So you guys look at this video and you tell me who is Mr. Keys talking about? I have a theory. I don't want to say. I have an inkling. I don't want to say. But um, this is some real shit, guys. And you guys need to tell me. Once you see the video, you tell me. Who is this man talking about? He's exposing. Sexually. Explicit. Got recordings. And will go take a polygraph live to let you know who he is talking about. Require minds want to know. Watch this video. Sometimes it's our own heroes. It's the, sometimes it's the very people we deify. And we look up like, oh, they're doing so much. They're doing so much. No, they're also doing this. And my only reservation about naming the people you know, there was directors along the way like, hey, you know, you read for this, that, and the other. You want to come back up to the apartment? I'm like, nah, I'm good. You got my headshot, my resume, and I'm good. You know if I can handle that or not. You know I can kill that, but I'm not, I don't need to come up to your apartment. We already had the audition. There's other people that... I want to say everything. And my brother was like, nah, mm -hmm. not yet. I want to tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. I want to speak on it. And the good news is that they don't even have to believe me. Hopefully they would, but even if they don't, they can hear this person. Since sexual harassment started, I've carried many recorder devices on me. Keychains, pens, um, thumb drives with a, a charged battery that get six, seven, eight hours, all the above. So I have the conversations. I really want to air that that shit out because it bothers me when I'm alone at night like man the, the world is celebrating this person and they don't even know the shady and predatory way in which this person moves and the way that you know predators resent the prey that gets away so when you don't say yes when you don't say okay I'll acquiesce and you know, sign up and literally and figuratively play ball because we're not doing that. They resent you. This is a conversation we're going to have and we're going to have soon because it, it bothers me in my spirit that you can, I can forgive people. That's one thing. But, yeah, P, we don't play ball. That's my brother in there. 
Um, and he knows the real deal. He knows the who. Um, I'm good. Somebody said, you don't look okay. I'm okay. I'm, I, I have I have peace. I'm literally strategically planning my next eight moves. I'm good. God got me because he was watching when I was offered these opportunities and I didn't say yes. I didn't sell my soul or my ass. Excuse my French, y'all. I know some of y'all, hope, hopefully y'all have no kids around, but I didn't sell nothing for success. It's like, nah, that's not what I want. You know, I I ain't into that. I ain't into dudes. It's, it's, I'm the, I got an only beard in the bed policy. Mine is the only beard in the bed. Yeah, we not, we ain't doing none of that. I don't, I don't get out like that. And these people kept on for years. Sexual harassment is a crime. Attempted sexual assault is a felony. And where I'm at now is that in the middle of the night, I think about if I'm brave enough to name the person, I'll take a polygraph live. I'll take five polygraphs live. And I'll pass all of them because it's the truth. This person is a predator and he's one of several. Um, and it's a shame, man. But it's, I think it's time. It, it's, I want to, and I know, P, I know you're on here. I want to say everything now. And I have proof. It's not like I'm just making false accusations. I intentionally let the statute of limitations expire. It's not about money, but I'm going to take, I'm going to have to take the receipts, the recordings down to the police department and let them hear this individual. I wasn't working for him in the month and the year that he showed up to my apartment and offered me a hundred grand to take my clothes off. He said, I don't even need to touch you. I just want to see you naked. I declined. Because again, scenic group, I got my integrity with me. I'll, I'll take the long way around. But being that I wasn't working with him and we were in my apartment, he had visited my apartment to offer me a job of this fall because the lead of this particular project was going to do something else, so he needed another lead. I recorded it because I didn't trust him, and I had told him over and over, and he still always tried shit, just tried shit. So if people don't believe me, they can hear him in his voice. I have always kept something on me always even if my phone is off something else is if I'm around somebody that has tried to sexually harass me pressure me intimidate me into some nonsense I've always kept something on me so I can protect myself because if they're that powerful and they feel that entitled then they, they can also try to get in the way of your work. Um, I want to speak on it. I also want to keep making great things and, and creating jobs and opportunities. But, oh no, I got backups for the backups for the backups for the backups. I've watched way too many Jason Bourne movies not to have 15 backups. I can press play and you can hear the person and you'll know immediately who the person is that's offering me a hundred grand to strip.
you'll know right away and it'll break your heart. I won't have to say the person's name, but I can and I will. I don't mind doing a polygraph or three or five on live TV and I'll pass all of them because it's the truth. This industry is something else. It's wonderful and we get to chase our dreams and we get to live all their lives. I get to be a judge or an FBI agent. I get to be a, a girl dad. And some of the people that you think are your mentors are literally and figuratively just trying to fuck you. I have documentation from the dealership for the car that they tried to buy as an apology for offering me a hundred grand a strip. It's it's time. I really I really want to just clear the air because I'm I'm tired. And then where I'm at now. It's, if it still feels like that person is fucking with you just to fuck with you, just to mess with you. The industry can be wonderful. I'm grateful, be clear, that this person showed me how not to be. When I'm a boss, people get daps and church hugs. The attractive women that work on, on even, even on my shows, my, my productions, they're getting daps and church hugs. That's it. Because this person showed me how not to be when I'm in charge and when I built something and when I created something. I hear you, Pernell. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to dial it back. You get on my nerves because I know you're right, but I'm, it, it's in my fucking bone marrow and I'm tired of this person gallivanting around doing these PR stunts Oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that. Well, then speak on. If you want to have. Woo! We're going to have a conversation, y'all, really soon. Really, really soon. Really soon. And I'm, I, I thank God that he made me the way that I am. Because I know he sat back and watched. Like, what are you going to do? Like, are you going to acquiesce and take this movie that's going to make 60, 70, 80 million dollars? Are you going to take this, this picture? Are you going to go to that late night audition? That late night table read? No. You ain't built me like that. I meant beat, shot at, stomped out more than most of the people that are here on this live put together. P, I'm going to call you in a minute. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to air it out, but I'm so fucking close because I'm tired. I'm tired. And it needs to be told. And the bad part is I'm going to be I'm going to be painted as the villain when I was the one that was sexually harassed for years, years, bullied, intimidated, and sexually harassed for years. And I'm going to be painted as the villain because y'all have deified this person. And then if a person tells you over and over, First of all, in general, you have no right to touch anybody. None. None. Now, that's why I'm careful. Like when I do my shows and everything, you know, it's, it's church hugs. I put the veils on and I, I kiss people on the hair up here. Nothing sexual, nothing weird, nothing crazy. And, and I'm trusting that, you know, the fans will receive that out of a place of love and connection. But you are not allowed to touch somebody without their permission. Not allowed to try to touch them in a sexual or private place 
without their permission. And if they've already declared like, hey, bruh, I get that that's your thing, but I like black women in Hennessy. And so miss me with the bullshit because I'm never going to be open to that. I'm never going to swing at that pitch. Like I, I'm batting for this team over here. God made ovaries and fallopian tubes and vagina, labia majora, labia minora, uterus. It's just wonderful over here. So I'm going to stay over here, like chill. And then this person still tries to grab you, physically grab you. Cassie speaking out has given me, has reminded me about not not just me, because it was brutal going through it, because it lasted for years. But her speaking out, people need to know. And The funny thing is, predators like that, they resent the prey that got away. But his voice is very distinctive. And I wanna I wanna empty, I'm tired of carrying this shit. There's a reason now why I fight more than ever when somebody wrongs me and why I almost too aggressively speak up is because I wasn't brave enough to then. And I, I regret not being able to be strong enough and I resent that part of me that wasn't strong enough to speak up about it. It's taking everything in me not to air out everything and put all the recordings online put all the paperwork and the PDFs online. Uh, there's no reason that this person's company would be on the bill of sale for a vehicle unless it's right after the timestamp recording of him offering me a hundred grand to take my clothes off. He said, I don't have to touch you. I just want to see you naked. I'm like, what the fuck? What? Like, you know, I'm not into that. I don't, I don't fuck around like that. I don't do that. What the fuck? What? Leave. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get out. I thought you were my brother and my friend. And this definitely has nothing to do with my brother who's in here. Be clear. I thought. This person was a brother type figure, a mentor, mentor type figure. But for you to continuously throw these opportunities, you know good and damn well, all it ever was, was you pretending to be a mentor, trying to get some ass. That'll never happen. I don't bat for that team. Yeah. But I gotta get off of here and talk to my brother because I'm I'm so fucking close to just airing everything out. I'm just dumping everything online in the morning. I'm tired, man. I'm not forgiving myself. I didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't brave enough back then because somebody said forgive yourself. KG, it's it's heavy on my heart, man, and I'm tired. And we around here deifying people that go out and do this and I'm a I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna pay off this and I'm gonna pay off that and I'm gonna pay off that, but at the same time, these same people are predators. I'm not blaming myself for saying no. I'm not blaming myself for almost quitting acting. I'm just mad at me for not being brave enough to say something sooner. That's the only thing that I regret. I wish I'd have been brave enough. I'm him now. I'm bra- I, I know who I am. I know who God built me to be. And I'm not afraid of those consequences. 
my concern is that a lot of y'all are going to be like, man. And your immediate reaction is going to be like, oh, well, we got to protect our deity. We got to protect. In the ending, guys, you know who it is. Once you hear what he says, it's just going to automatically click. Now, he's renowned. He's been acting forever, and he's been doing black entertainment for a long time, guys. So, you're going to kind of get who he's talking about. It's not a... It's pretty much a no-brainer, guys. I just don't want to say, because I don't need no one to sit there and throw me under the bus and say I'm basically throwing names out there, which I pretty much got a feeling... Who he talking about? I got a good feeling who he talking about. But I don't want to, you know, run my mouth too quickly and stuff. But I'm going to let you see this video. It's two of them. They're extra long. You're going to have to go on my YouTube page, guys, in order to get the whole whole scoop. Because I can't really show on, on TikTok, guys, because the videos are too long. So you're going to definitely have to go on my YouTube page. To check it out. Bedroom Eyes com Comedy. You have to go on there and check it out guys. Because this is juicy. And I kind of had a feeling. I kind of knew. I've been saying it. But you know. To hear a sexy actor like this. Now I can see why he would try to get your cookie though boo boo. I can see why he would try to touch on you. Because you sexy as fuck. But I know you like your women in Hennessy. I got some Hennessy at the Casa, me and Casa. I ain't try to, you know, be funny, but you sexy as fuck. I'm a woman. I ain't a man. So I'm putting my beard in. But you guys let me know what you think of this video and the person that he's 